So in the last class we discussed about the <coughs> derivation of KP and KD and uh, KP is equal to cos alpha by the pH factor. So where alpha is a short to short pH value. So this is KD, next one is KD, distribution factor, sin m beta by 2 over m sine beta by 2. So where m is equal to number of uh, slots per pole per phase. Where beta is the slot angle which is is equal to 180 by number of slots per pole r which is equal to 180 into poles by number of slots so these are the uh, kp and kd which i derived in the previous session and based on that uh, kp and kd let's just discuss a few few problems so and you need to remember always kp and KD always these values are approximately equal to 1 so which is equal to uh, 0 0.9 definitely more than 0 0.9 so 0 0.966 or 0 0.98 so approximately majorly we will get the KP and KDs as uh, these values so if you uh, if you get uh, more than this value like 0 0.8788 0 0.87 like this the total induced EMF will be decreases. That's why always uh, this KP and KD uh, will be equal to 0 0.9 point something, 9 point more than 9 point. We can clearly observe how it will be without KP and KD, how the EMF will be and uh, after multiplication of KP and KD, what will be the EMF? We can understand very easily. So in the given question, the armature has three phase. Alternator has 120 slots. So an alternator uh, has three phase, which is which is three phase. And uh, number of slots, number of slots is equal to 120. He gave clearly. So let us raise it right. Let us note on the data as per the question. And the next, the armature has eight poles he gave clearly. So number of poles is equal to eight. Calculate KD by using this data, we need to find KD. So as we know all that, the formula of KD is equal to sine m beta by two by m sine beta by two. so you can easily remember m into beta nothing but this is a vector sum so here m into sine angle so this is the arithmetic sum so the value of uh, m is equal to number of slots per pole slots per pole per phase so this is m and beta is equal to 180 by number of slots per pole. So let us write the solution. Uh, this is the solution. And uh, this is we need to find. KD is equal to how much? This is we need to find. So first of all, uh, to find the KD, we need to find the M. M value. M is equal to, we give number of slots are 120. 120 by slots per pole, we give 8 per phase how many phases three three so which is equal to 120 by 8 into 3 so which is equal to 3 ones are 3 fourths are 8 ones are 8 fives are m is equal to 5 simply m is equal to 5 next beta beta is equal to 180 by 
180 over starts per pole. So number of starts are uh, 120 per pole. Poles are eight. So 120 by eight. So four two is a four thirty is a so two ones are two fifteen is a so that uh, 180 by fifteen. 180 by fifteen. So it is equal to three five is a three six is a five ones are five twelve. So that uh, the beta is equal to 12 degrees 12 degrees so that uh, if we substitute the data so that kd is equal to sign m is nothing but uh, this is 5 sign m beta is nothing but 12 degrees by 12 degrees into sign sign m beta by 2 by sign beta is nothing but 12 degrees by 2 here uh, sorry sin m beta by 2 2 is there so after solving this one you will get exactly 0 0.9576 like this so you can see the answer so after you if you calculate with the calcium you will get definitely this is 0 point more than 9 so in this way we need to solve the problems so you may get it out m is nothing but a uh, number of stars per pole for phase so beta is nothing but 180 by starts per pole. Nothing but 180 is nothing but the angle between north and south, north and south pole. And between these two, how many? These are the total number of starts. These are the total number of starts. These starts are distributed throughout the all um, all poles, north, south, north, south like that. All poles. If you want to find individually, you need to divide with the uh, Nothing but you need to find the starts with the uh, one pole so that uh, starts per pole per phase so that starts per pole again number of phases are three that's why you need to divide with the uh, three if it is one single phase no need to starts per pole only because phases are one only so there is no change definitely so that uh, to if you give the total starts 120 stars these 120 stars are distributed for eight poles comma three phases that's why we need to find for uh, single phase that's why pole for phase that is single phase again uh, for single for one pole you need to divide with uh, this only eight by three that is you will get uh, this distribution this 180 degrees distribution for how many slots are distributed for single pole that we can estimate it by using in this way so this is the way to solve the problem so the next one is next problem. So this is a this is a somewhat depth problem. So uh, the question is a three phase. So solution three phase and the number of poles are two. He gave. You can see the question from the question. I want to use a red pen. So this is two poles, 100 kV, 50 H. So rating is 100 kV and the frequency 50 H. And also we gave this uh, 50 H alternator has a 48 slots with eight conductors per slots so that he gave clearly for example if you take these are the stator stator like this listen uh, just watch this video carefully so that you can understand uh, a, how to solve the problem very easier manner so that he gave 48 slots so like that uh, one two three and so on 48 slots are available and uh, eight conductor per slot so this two conductor having eight conductors third one slot having eight conductors fourth one having eight conductors like that one also having eight conductors like the total number of uh, conductors z is equal to 48 slots and each one having 
eight conductor. So okay, this is the total conductor set. So it is uh, uh, 64 and uh, 8 for the 48 plus 654. 54. So that uh, 544 conductors. So this is the first you need to find the conductors and then uh, number of turns we need required. So just uh, keep it that aside. I will explain that later. So again, uh, next one is the coil pitch is five sixth of full pitch. So coil pitch is equal to five sixth of full pitch. He gave. He gave coil coil pitch. That's what coil span. So this coil span. This coil span is equal to actually uh, this is for full pitch. This is for full pitch. This is for coil span, and uh, this is for full pitch. So the ratio between these two coil spans to full pitch ratio is five by six. This is the data he gave. So just I'm writing the data which he gave. So I'm writing here again, Kyle span. So Kyle pitch is equal to five by six of full pitch. So this is the given data. And also he gave uh, number of uh, the flux per pole is flux per pole is equal to 0 0.5 Weber's he did not give any uh, milliwebers like that. So, assume that uh, sinusoidal flux distribution, sinusoidal flux distribution, calculate the three phase and uh, calculate the phase and the line voltages. That's what the question. So, we need to find the uh, E induced EMF for phase and uh, induced EMF for line to line. This is the uh, question and uh, if you know the phase voltage that is equal to E phase voltage is equal to 4.445 flux per pole and uh, F turns per phase and the KP and the KD volt. So this is the uh, formula and uh, let, let, let us find that what are the knowns or unknowns in this equation and then we should proceed for the solving of the question. So 5m, he gave 5m clearly, this is flux flow pole, this is given, frequency also 50 hertz given, tons per phase. So he gave conductors 544 and uh, tons and the z and the tons is equal to z by 2. So nothing but 554 by 2. So 554 by 2 is nothing but uh, 2 to the and the two sevens are and the two to the two seventy two tons. So these two seventy two are uh, for uh, three phase, three phase, but we uh, require for single phase. That's why tons for phase we need to find tons for phase. So most of the people may get a doubt and may, uh, may do a mistake here because these 544 are the total conductors, total conductors. So we need to find for the uh, single phase. If you, even if you divide with three here, you will get uh, something like uh, five ones are, sorry, three ones are, and uh, so I'm dividing here, 272, so let us, Again, check is it a real? Uh, is it confirmly 48 into 8? These are the total number of conductors by 3 for phase single phase. 3 ones are 3 six are. Again, these are the Z for phase 16 into 8. So single phase conductors and number of turns is equal to Z by 2, which is equal to 16 into 8 by 2. Two ones are to eight uh, so which is equal to 64 64 conductors so there may be a mistake here in the calculation 
so finally we got uh, we got a z for phase is equal to uh, 16 into 8 and the transfer phase is equal to 64 so this is the number of uh, transfer phase i'm using this one So here we found uh, this flux per fold and the frequency turn for fit. And then we need to find KP and the KD. This is what we need to find. So KP. So KD is nothing but uh, to find the KD. It's required uh, M and beta. M is equal to number of slots. So number of slots are nothing but 48 slots per pole. How many poles are two poles are there? And phases how many phases are there three phases so three to just six six ones are here six uh, eights are so m is equal to eight and the beta is equal to 180 by slots per pole how many slots are there party eight slots per pole poles are how many two two ones are 24 sir so this is 180 by 24 so 24 is nothing but a 6 4 sir 6 3 sir so that uh, 7.5 degrees this is beta and then we need to find kp kp is equal to actually kp is equal to he, he gave as a high span is equal to 5 by 6 of full pitch so short pitch angle i think what alpha so to find this one we need required alpha alpha is called how much i think what this is kyle span kyle span is nothing but uh, this is much of kyle span value is equal to five by six but uh, full pitch is nothing but like this so this is nothing but this is the uh, area we need to find this area is equal to one minus five by six because total is one uh, this the total I'm explaining here this is total full pitch this is total full pitch but he gave as short pitch as this much this is this is 5 by 6 but the total is 6 by 6 that is equal to 1 so if you want to find this gap so which is equal to 1 minus 5 by 6 which is equal to 1 by 6 so this one by six is the total angle. Total angle is 180 degrees, but one by part is nothing. One by six part is 180 by six. That is equal to 30 degrees. Alpha is equal to 30 degrees. So this 60, six nothing but total parts, total full pitch. So 180 by six, six is nothing but 30 degrees, 30 degrees. So uh, five parts for five parts for the full pitch winding, but one part uh, one part is for a short pitch. That angle is only about thirty degrees. So we found everything. So you can see here. So in this in this equation, it's required a free flux. Flux is directly available here. Frequency 50 is available here. Transfer phase 64 available here. KP is nothing but cos alpha beta. Cos alpha beta. Alpha is equal to 30 degrees available here. 30 degrees available here. And KD. KD is equal to sin M beta by 2 by M sin beta by 2. So M is available here. Directly 8 is available. And beta. Beta is 7.5 degrees. So beta also available. So after you after solving this one, uh, we'll get a KP and KD also. So after substituting KP and KD in this equation, we will get a EMF uh, induced EMF for phase as as per the question. Definitely we'll get a 65.65605.5 volts. And uh, if you want to find for three phase, uh, if you want to find for line to line voltage, just multiply with the uh, Root three, root three times of uh, six five six zero point five volts. This is a procedure. So in this question, just uh, 
I I explain the data and the IGMF equation for phase is equal to 4.44 and the phi is nothing but 0 0.5 members. Frequency is 50 and the turns are 64 and the KP into KD. KP is nothing but cos 30 degrees by 2 that is 15 degrees and uh, KD is nothing but sin. M is nothing but 8 and beta is 7.5 degrees by 2 over m. m is nothing but uh, 8 m sin beta is 7.5 degrees by 2. So that uh, this is the, uh, after solving this one, you will get definitely this answer. That is no separate thing. And uh, just if you want to find for line to line voltage, you need to multiply, multiply with root 3 into 6, 5. 60.5 volts. So this is this is the procedure to solve the problem. So what are the knowns? What are the unknowns? Just whatever he asked you to find, that is uh, you need to write in the form of equation. So this is a uh, uh, transfer phase and the KP, KD. So this is uh, this is what we need to find. In this then the given equation, what are the knowns? So what are the known values and what are the unknowns? Flux, frequency, turns, KP, KD. So in this uh, phi, how many given, how many we need to find. So then according to that, we need to proceed. So this is the another important, one, one important problem. Next one, this is also. So in the given question, this is similar to the previous one. Here, three phase. 20 pole, 360 RPM, star connected alternator has a winding arranged in 180 slots. So that uh, you need to write clearly. So phases is equal to 3, poles is equal to 20, speed n is equal to 360 RPM he gave, RPM he and also star connected. Next, uh, how many stars are there? 180 stars are there. 180 stars are there. And uh, conductors per slot. Conductor per slot is equal to 6. Nothing but uh, in one slot, 6 conductors are available. That is a given data. And uh, he asked to find, uh, find the induced DMF per phase. If the flux pulse pole is uh, 0 0.042 Weber's, so that uh, flux also he gave as uh, 0 0.042 uh, Weber's, and also he gave coil short uh, coils are short corroded by one slot. Nothing but uh, coils. Short pitched by one slot he gave. High short pitched by one slot he gave. Nothing but uh, we need to find uh, slots per pole. We need to find uh, slots per pole. Then you can find this KP. So let us, uh, whatever it may be, let us, uh, this is a given data. And uh, we need to find industry EMF. Induced EMF per phase is equal to how much? So this is a formula is equal to 4.44 pi m f turns per phase kp k. This is the uh, equation. In this equation, how many knowns are there? How many unknowns are there? Let us find those. So this pi m. He gave directly, this is not 5M, just flux. Flux per pole, he gave directly. Frequency, is there any frequency? No frequency is not available. So that uh, instead of frequency, speed is available. So that uh, we need to find speed by using uh, frequency and the speed relationships. That is frequency F is equal to Pn by 120. P is nothing but poles. 
twenty into three sixty RPM by one twenty. So zero here is zero twelve ones are twelve three is. So frequency is twenty into three. This this is sixty hertz. Frequency sixty hertz. So that we we found the frequency and transfer phase. So that he gave slots. He gave conductors actually conductors, but uh, these conductors are in one eighty slots. So in one con one slot six conductors are available. So in one eighty so z total. Look at this one. Z total is equal to one eighty into six. So z per phase for single phase. Uh, slots are one eighty into six by three. Three ones are three twos are. I think what all? This is three sixty. Three sixty conductors for phase. So tons T is equal to z by two. Tons for phase is equal to z by two. So which is equal to three uh, sixty by two is what about one eighty. One eighty conductors. So that uh, we got uh, tons also. So now the only unknown is Kp and Kd. This is Kd, Kp and Kd. So let us find Kd. Kd to find the Kd, it's required a uh, sin m beta by two by m sin beta by two. So m is equal to slots per pole for phase. How many slots are there? One eighty slots per poles are how many? Twenty and three phases. So zero zero three to the six six three to eighteen m is equal to three and beta is equal to one eighty by slots per pole. So slots are one eighty poles are one twenty. So slots per pole one eighty and uh, by Polar star twenty. One eighty one eighty will be cancelled, so that uh, beta is equal to twenty degrees. So by using this uh, m and beta, we can find uh, k d. We can find k d. Next one is k p. K p nothing but we need to find alpha. Cos alpha by d is nothing but k p. So how to find this one? So simply, actually, uh, total number of slots are one eighty. Let us find slots per pole first of all. Slots per pole is nothing but one eighty by twenty two ones are zero zero two ones are two nine ones are. So these are the nine slots are distributed between the two poles. This is north and south. Nine slots are available. But in the question you can see line in the last line the coils short coils are short corroded by one slot. Nothing but a short piece of by one slot. Short pitch by one slot, but 180 degrees is equal to 180 degrees uh, between the two poles. 180 degrees, but 180 degrees between the two poles. How many slots are there? Nine slots are there. So for nine, for one slot, nine ones are nine twos are 20 degrees. For one slot, 20 degrees, but uh, short pitch by one slot. So that uh, alpha is equal to 20 degrees only. So I am again I am explaining here. Listen carefully. Between the north and south pole, one eighty degrees. This is one eighty degrees. Slots per pole for single pole, one eighty degrees. And uh, slots per pole are means nine nine slots per pole. But nothing but one eighty degrees is distributed throughout the nine slots. One two three four five six seven eight nine slots. This is total one eighty degrees. But short be should by one slot. Nothing but one. One sixty degrees is the coil span. Twenty degrees is the short pitch angle. So that uh, alpha is equal to twenty. So in the given question, flux is available. Frequency is sixty. Transfer phase also uh, nothing but one eighty. We got one eighty. Kp is equal to pitch factor. Kp is equal to cos alpha by two. Cos alpha by two is nothing but alpha is equal to twenty. Cos twenty by two. Cos ten. Simply Kp is equal to cos 10 degrees. Cos Kd Kd is nothing but sine m. M is equal to 3 and beta is equal to 20. 
So here n is equal to three and v is equal to twenty. We substitute these values and we can get a answer as a nineteen one nine zero three point four. And also, you need to find the EMF for phase without KP and KD and with KP only with KD only with KP and KD. I think for four cases, one, two, three, and four. So for one single problem, you need to compare with the so you need to find the uh, KP. This is induced EMF with uh, without KP and KD, and uh, just write that value separately. And with the KP, with the KP, you need to write the uh, find the EMF and uh, write separately. And with the uh, KD only separate induced EMF uh, separately write. And uh, with uh, both KP and KD, you need to write the EMF. So among these two if you find if you find the values without these two emf will be more and uh, here compared to this value for example this is 1900 this is approximately 1780 like that nothing but here less here also approximately 1700 change this is also less here very less less than 1700 nothing but approximately i'm taking nothing but uh, these values are less compared to this one, first one, and the last one, this is very less compared to the remaining all above. And compared to these two also, very less. Uh, this bit in the presence of KP and KD. Nothing but in this way, you can confirm that by using short featured winding, KP will come into picture. That's why induced GMF will be decreases. That is already explained in the uh, KP and KD. And KD, by using KD also, some of the induced EMF will be decreases. So that factor will be represented in terms of KD. That's why if you multiply KP and KD to the EMF equation, then the total induced EMF will be decreases. So you simply you can understand that. So KP actually one for pulpition winding, KD is equal to one for uh, concentric winding. So actually for uh, short feature winding, KP, KP is uh, less than 1, nothing but less than 1, nothing but 0 0.973 like that. So if you multiply anything with uh, less than 1 value, so if you multiply, for example, 10 is there. 10 into 1 is equal to 10 only, 10 only. So for example, if you multiply 10 with uh, less than 1 value, which is equal to 0 0.97 like this, so that value will be 9.7. So that uh, the total, this 10 value will be decreases if you multiply less than one value. So the EMF equation that without, in the presence of, uh, in the absence of KP and KD, EMF equation is equal to 10, EMF value is equal to 10 in the, uh, in the absence of KP and KD. Then in the presence of uh, KP and KD, so for example, 10 and 0 0.97 into 0 0.9 like this, the total value will be, so this is 0 0.9, uh, 9.7 into 0 0.9. The total value also will be decreases. That's why induced EMF will be decreases, which I already explained in the previous uh, videos. So this is all about the KP and KD.